to make your reborn doll look realistic in a car seat. So I've made this with just a regular baby doll because I didn't have a reborn, but I knew if I got one that I would do this video again. So um, basically the same, except yeah, it will probably look a little more realistic because it's just with a regular baby doll the last time I did it. So the things you will need is any car seat, a baby doll car seat, like a real car seat, like whatever you want to use, whatever you have. Um, so yeah, I might be doing this with a stroller, but I'm not quite sure. If you want me to do that, um, uh, get this video to five likes and maybe I'll do it. So yeah, so maybe a blanket because if you, um, like want to, it, you'll see why. So I'm gonna use two blankets because I'm gonna cover this car seat because it has a bunch of li little dots and it's kind of just like, it's not really like a real car seat. And then you'll need a blanket just to put on top of your doll. Cause you, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure your doll is, if you want like people to think kind of like the doll's real, um, you want your doll to be like in an outfit that would be okay with this like weather because you wouldn't want to put it like your doll in a dress or shorts and a shirt and it's like raining or it's snowing outside so yeah so it's kind of warm it's like kind of rainy outside he's wearing pants socks and a little onesie and then he'll have a blanket on so that's a really good outfit for this kind of weather um so you can if this is totally your option if your car seat if you like your car seat the way it is then keep it Go ahead, um, but um, if you, so try to go like this if you want to cover them, because mine's not really babyish, <laughs> like it's not realistic, that realistic. So I'm just gonna drape it over. This is the same blanket that I used in the last video of how to make your doll realistic in a car seat. So this is what kind of mine, I'm just gonna cover all those little dots. and. If this, if you don't really like it because you can't get the strap, I don't really care because I'm not actually going to be like, he'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to put the real seat belts in the car on him anyway. So, yeah, that's what mine looks like. I might make a few touches to it because there's a little messy parts in it, but that's like the start of it. So, yeah, so you just want to lay your doll down. And if your doll's covered by a blanket like after, you won't even tell if there were straps or not. So yeah, so this is first what you want to do is just put your doll like that and then I'm going to put my blanket on. You want to make sure you kind of have like realistic blankets, like you don't want to have like a really, 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 really colorful one because it might not look very thing. So maybe use like try to use one that, oh you could also use a tea towel or like a napkin if you really, if you can't find a little blanket. So yeah, so you just want to put them in. So that's what mine looks like. Not very realistic. Here, let me take this thing. I mean, pretty realistic, but um, yeah. So the next thing is you want to have some entertainment for the baby, unless it's sleeping. If it's a sleeping baby, you don't really have to, but if it's... So you wanna like put the toy, like a toy, my hanging, I have a hanging toy. So just put it like that and hang it from the bar if you have one. Um, so yeah, um, so this maybe like make the baby looking at it because right now he's looking away. So if you make it like that, so he's kind of looking at it and he's like, what? So yeah, the next thing is do you have any pacifiers? So if your baby cannot fit a pacifier in its mouth, um, you could almost just like, so put it next to its mouth. Mine actually fits in its mouth. Put it next to his mouth and then drop it and see kind of where it would land if it would, so it would just go like that. So mine landed there. So it, like it's almost like they spit out their pacifier. So take it to their mouth, even if it doesn't fit, just put it there and then drop it. And then it, it's like, that's where it dropped. So that's probably where the pacifier will drop. If the real baby had it in. So yeah, um, and if you want it in, that's a good thing. Maybe if your baby has an open mouth and it's like, um, kind of like 
weird if it has an open mouth comp like oh, all the time. It's just in like a frozen position. Maybe put a pacifier in its mouth. So yeah, and then almost if you put a pacifier in a mouth, they wouldn't because um, you would be thinking that if they had didn't have a pacifier, they would be making so many noises and stuff. So yeah, that if you put a pacifier in, that will kind of help it. So my tips are cover your um, car seat, um, make the pacifier, put a pacifier in, dress in warm, like in the weather. So yeah, that's and maybe do a toy. So if it's so that's my reborn in the car seat, and it looks really cute. So yeah, and pretty realistic. So hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.